Mutina Kay. Yay. On a salad. Happy Sunday. One quick one. Let us not uh, make too much noise because they say there is no too much talk in an evening sermon. Ogolo go kwa de no kambede. Kai gaze straight to the point. Straight to the point. Uh, three videos for you. What's number one video? But let's go there. I'm going to be apologizing for making a mistake. saying that if you don't pay tight you, you might not make it to heaven I'm sorry that's wrong that's not in the Bible what the Bible says is, is he at peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see God now, let me tell you. Listen to me. You know, it is possible to be right and wrong at the same time. I prove it to you. I mean, I'm a scientist, so I know that. For years, we taught that light travels in straight lines. Now, is that correct? At least those of you who know a little bit of physics will say, sure. The light doesn't bend at corners, it goes straight. But later on, we discover it's not just what, not straight as a rod, light travels in waves. <laughs> you see, I'm uh -huh. uh -huh. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Some anomalies are beginning to get corrected inside this country. Hey, that is you. Wow. I feel like blowing siren. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, yes. It is not, it is better late than never. Thank God, see, you don't come out, you don't talk. See, you're someone. And if you don't give tight, you will not go to heaven. Send a rung. We have always no need to be wrong now. Some of your church members even know that this particular thing you said now or what has always been your preaching then saying a lie we've always known but because we cannot battle with our that go we follow sheepishly thank god say father you don't come out you don't talk it is not new we already know we already know saying a lie tight can never take you to heaven like you rightly said, be at peace with all men and with righteousness of which no man can see the Lord. And the condition be this. Shouldn't I use a man talker? Eh. It's alright. Thank you that you have set the record straight. At least they see you as uh, the father of Pentecostalism now in Nigeria. Now. Eh, 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 I get it. Eh. And now you be fathers to every other people. You understand? Eh. So. I should they father them now. And you don't talk this truth. Make them tarry also this truth to go tell the people what they father to. May they learn. Thank you for that truth. Ngwa video too. Because a man was already changing the status quo. And everybody we are, uh, 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 are already fighting the man. Say, why are you going against the doctrines that we have been preaching on this one? You are antichrist. You are preaching heresy. You are this. You are that. Mwano, bring that scriptures to counter this man. Not even one of them. Eh, so we've already known that this particular person I won't show you now. It's not truth in the talk. But some people are living in denial. Attack, 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 attack. Because they say the best form of defense is attack now. So for you to defend your uh, someone that is giving you money, you have to attack the person that is attacking the someone that is giving you money. <laughs> Mwano, look at the man that has always been saying it. Say tithes can never take you to heaven. And God is not a transactional God. Hey, give me, I give you. Hey, give me. Say no be like that. Give money if you won't give. If you don't get, don't be. Ay, 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 ay. Umba, video two. Watch.
fowl red fowl lizard without legs why because it's a foul spirit you are about to contract then when you give them those things they now give you something in exchange so people now bring that native doctorism mentality onto god if you don't give god god cannot give you who told you if you don't tight it will be tight who told you who told you when scriptures are not properly divided the bible can be used to say anything you want to say but when it is rightly divided then you find the truth of the gospel but peter said unto him thy money perish with thee because thou hast taught that the gift of god may be purchased with money you don't buy grace any grace that can be bought is not grace grace means you can't buy it grace means you can't afford it grace means you don't deserve it so therefore since you don't qualify for it somebody gave it to you for free so you can't tap grace by money any grace you tap with money is fake grace the grace of our lord jesus cannot be bought peter said go and perish you can't buy a miracle with money the power of god is freely given we don't buy it and the reason why the sorcerer behave like that is because he's used to doing it in his sorcery are we following here he said go and perish you can't buy the grace of god with money and some of us that has been our mentality every time we need something from god we have to look for something to give so that god can give us and we have rubbish the character of god our god is not for sale my father is not in a transaction when you have to give to god to get that's a transaction that is not giving in generosity you give expecting nothing in generosity you just give who is that ebel damila doctor with all due respect dr ebel damila the man that has studied the scriptures in all languages english greek hebrew if you preach if you, if, you, if you go by english you don't understand that you go go find the meaning you go fall back to greek from greek enter um, hebrew from hebrew carry their two meaning come english come know what they mean <laughs> and then decimate the information so that everybody go understand that you don't talk and sense say tight tight pay 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 remember this guy nobody preached tight person when he was preaching that gospel if at him talks say people they preach and i said a manuscript that they use he was dangerous in that preaching <laughs> this guy I bet I mean, you know, I don't know I'm not. Very dangerous in that. I don't know this guy today. Very dangerous in that preaching. So he came just like Papa Adeboye has. Say, me forgive me, me forgive me. This one, two, come and say, forgive me, forgive me. I have been preaching the wrong things. Now let me set the record straight. He started to the preach the right things. So, Papa, we expect you as you have. As for forgiveness, I will have forgiven you. We we'll start preaching the right things now. <laughs> I, I, I get it. Uh, that is by the way. Video three. There is one other man somewhere that I believe. Uh, if you don't agree with him, that uh, you are a false prophet. Eh, it is somewhere. Hey, like, hey, how do you know false prophets? They, 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 they do this. Uh, they do that. Uh, well, let us listen to him now. Let us know who is the false prophet now. I'm gonna watch. What they call false teachers, people that twist the Bible, they must first know the Bible. False teachers are very good with scriptures, they can quote scriptures. But how you know false teachers? Four things number one, they downplay supernatural power. See what is what is miracle. I leave that. They down that's how you, you catch them. Number two, they use scriptures to fight. Scripture to them is like weapon. Number three, they always find fault in what people say. I'm giving their qualities. The first is that they downplay supernatural. If you tell them that that miracle, say, well, which miracle? It doesn't exist. Yeah, that's how you catch them. So it, they can convince you. They will quote plenty, plenty scripture to prove a point. You cannot be a false teacher if you are not conversant with scripture. You must be very conversant. But they will downplay supernatural. When you tell them that miracle money, they say, what, what, what miracle money? Is God's central bank? Yes. 
well, it's God's central bank. How can you print money? Is God road safety? But it delivers people from accident. Is God the pilot? But it delivers people from plane crash. With God, all things are possible. They are very logical. And they attack. By the time you say one thing, they will come out to, to tell you that you are wrong. That's how you catch them. Because true knowledge of the word of God accommodates. It's not puffed up. It accommodates. That's when you have the virtues of the spirit. This is about the balance. Who wanna see for there? Apostle Aqua Suleiman, Justin Suleiman. Eh. How do you know fake prophets? They play them on supernatural. They attack, 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 tear down everywhere. They know the Bible. This one, that one. Okay, we already know. Oh yes, eh, you don't talk now. Eh, not true. Eh, so who are you now referring to? Of course, we know who he's referring to. This guy. He has always been attacking Pastor Abi Doctor Ebedamina. He did attack him. The other day he go he go crusade for Cameroon. He did that they attack the man. Say one shot man in Uyo. Like say he told past Ebed, uh, Dr. Ebed Amina. Hey, you get it. See yeah. So as you don't explain this now, make we use this the way you explain now to take no who be the first prophet. Yeah. It should also not be you be the first, uh, first prophet. <laughs> The daddies of faith, I'll be the fathers of faith that you say, Hebe Damina is attacking. Hebe Damina is attacking. The number one now will be number one in Nigeria. Daddy of faith. He don't come out. He don't talk. See, tight cannot take it to heaven. And now, on a salmon, now be that. Mungwa, is he now a false prophet or the true one? Because he has now aligned with Dr. Hebe Damina doctrine on this particular issue, tight. But you, you see, say, tight, 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 tight. If you don't tight, it will, this will be tight for you. Eh. So this is your daddy of it now that has come out to ask for forgiveness. Or, or is he a, prof, a false prophet? Because if this one is false, that means all of you are false. <laughs> 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 that means all of you are false. Uh, so you don't declare now, Abi. You don't declare. I'll go see on a later. For over a decade, this has been the birthplace of innovation. Innocent Vehicles is a testament to resilience, employing international best practices to create more than just a car. Every vehicle here tells a story of durability, fuel economy and safety. Crafted with the African spirit, the Nigerian heart. These vehicles surrounding me embody the unique concept of regionalization, each one designed to cater to the tastes and preferences of our people. From the streets in Nigeria to the terrains of the Sahara, these vehicles are designed for our roads, for our people. This is more than a vehicle. It's a symbol of our progress, our resilience, our collective success story. Your feedback drives us to continuously innovate and improve. Innocent Vehicle, the pride of African roads.